Yeah, it's on. Hey, Melissa, how you doing? How you doing, Melissa? What's up? What's up? I'm trying to get this thing together, y'all. I'm, I'm late. Y'all, please forgive me for being late. Stephanie Brody in the building. What up, Step? Step, how you doing, girl? That's my sister, Step, man. I swear to God. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me good? Let me know if y'all can hear me good. I'm looking over here at the computer, y'all. And um, I'm going to try to do something else with this computer, either move it to the side or something. But let me know if y'all can hear me good. Can you hear me good? Because we're about to go ahead and get this thing started. I ain't going to sit here and try to prolong y'all time. And... um. Y'all do me a favor, share this out. Tell a friend and tell a friend that Ray Max Kitchen and Grill is about to cook something up in here. We're about to cook something. All right, let me get myself together. We got... All right, so bam, 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 gloves. Let me get some gloves. All right. So we got some gloves. Yep, we got some gloves. Y'all here, y'all here, y'all ready. Yes, y'all ready, y'all. You can say loud and clear, loud and clear. So I'm going to try to pin this mic microphone on me. I don't know how it's going to work because I know if I put it up here, it'll muffle, and I don't want to put it up there. So let me see what can I do. I'm going to see if y'all can still hear me, though. Y'all, my elbows is ashy. Don't y'all pay attention to my elbows. Look, can y'all hear me? Am, am I good? Am I good? Don't pay attention to my elbows. Lord have mercy. I got to put some olive oil on my elbows, y'all. Put some olive oil on my elbows. Awesome. Some olive oil. I had some tucked away in that cabinet over there. I think it's too, the light might be too bright. Is it? Is the light look like it's too bright, y'all? What y'all think? So I can get away. Go ahead and start this thing. Do it look like it's okay? Because I'm looking at the white label and it look like it's too bright. But we're going to go ahead and do this thing, y'all. Okay. So we're going to do some Parmesan, some sheet pan, Parmesan, baked potatoes. And I'm going to try to hurry up, man, and make this thing quick as possible. You feel me? I'm going to try to hurry up. All right. Um, bam, bam, and mo bam. Matter of fact, let me do this real quick. So I'm going to get the oven set right real quick. I'm going to set my oven to about 350 degrees so I can just reach behind me right here. But I'm, I'm going to take it to about 300. I'm going to take it to... This is going to be a fast cook. So I'm going to go about 400 degrees right quick. So I'm going to set my time. Set it to 400 400 degrees. So the stove is preheating. There's nothing in the stove, so we good on that. All right, y'all. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to, boy. You say so you're good. Okay, I'm good. All right, Manuel. What's going on, Manuel? All right, Melissa. I seen you there earlier, Melissa. You still here with me? That's what I'm talking about. Precious. What's going on, Precious? What's up? Hey, Cheryl. Lisa D is in the building. If y'all don't know who Lisa D is, please go over there to Lisa D and channel. On YouTube channel, man, and check out the girl be cooking herself. She be cooking her butt off. Yes, she do. She be cooking her butt off. TJ, what's going on? TJ, what's going on? Cooking secrets for men. Come on here. What's up? What's up? What's good? All right. So now I'm bringing this out, y'all. I'm bringing this out. If y'all remember, man, if I, I did a live, if you don't, if you haven't seen the live, you could always go back um, on, on my on my videos, my previous videos. Videos, and I did, I sent in some knives to be sharpened, okay? So the knives came back, man, they came back like last week. When I tell you that the company, they're, they're called Knife Aid, you can go to knifeaid.com, and I'm not being sponsored by these people whatsoever, y'all, for real, for real. 
I spent my own money to get my own knife sharpened. So is the light good? That's what I want to know. Is the light good? Okay, okay. So I got the knives back, and I'm going to need these knives right now. So I'm about to open it up, all right? I haven't opened the package up yet. So this is how it comes. They send it back, sealed up or whatever. I ain't finna talk about no knives. I'm finna hurry up and cook, y'all. I gotta hurry up and cook. And get my trash can. Get my little trash can over here. We got to get the trash going. All right, so I already washed my potatoes, okay? Right here. I already washed my potatoes. And just to let you see what kind of potatoes we're gonna use tonight, I'm using these nice size red potatoes okay so these are not your small red potatoes but these are pretty much a good size potatoes if you guys can see them so in this here colander i did wash and i clean my potatoes i got one two three four five six seven i got seven potatoes that i'm going to go ahead and try to prepare um for you guys man and this is going to be a fast quick i'm trying to make it quick if i can stop prolonging everything else recipe now all you have to do is basically just clean your potatoes you don't have to skin them at all i'm telling you i'm telling you you don't have to skin these potatoes all you need to do is just clean them up thoroughly all right so we got that and like i said these are not your small potatoes that you might use for like a crab boil or something like that or whatever the case may be but you can still do the same process with the small ones but i like these a little bit more um better okay so now with the knives all right i'm gonna go ahead and open these so they pretty much just use the same packaging that they sent but they went and they sealed it up all right, anyway, bam, bam, boom. Y'all you know, if you went to the previous video, these knives that I sent to, to, the, to the people were dull. I mean, they were dull as all can get out. So I'm going to definitely see if they didn't sharpen these knives up. Um, here you, here your professional sharpen knives. That's what they said, y'all. They say, um, here are your professionally sharpened knives and they got some instructions on the back, okay? So they say instruction number one, do not put your knives in the dishwasher, all right? Instruction number two is they store your knives, um, with the store, store your knives in a knife block or on a magnet to keep away from kids or whatever the case may be. I totally understand that. And then it says, home your knives before use to keep to keep them sharp longer. So it says, hone your knives. So I guess when they say hone your knives, what are you talking about? Okay, every time you use your knives, the edge uh, the edge gets a microstatic blend, bend. It says homing, we'll put them in. Da, 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 da. Well, you know what? I don't know what the homing thing is. I'm guessing they talking about this, ju, 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 ju. I don't know. So. I'm gonna move on, cause we got to go, we got to cook. We ain't got time to be trying to Google what homing is and all this other kind of stuff, but we got our knife back. So this is the poultry, this is my um, filet knife that I sent, okay? I'm definitely gonna use this cause I'm gonna prep some, some food up as we cook. As we cook these potatoes while they're in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prep some food up for tomorrow and I'm doing some chicken wings um, for tomorrow. So y'all guys gonna see me use these knives as we prep, all right? And I got all four of my knives back. Now, you know, this is my baby. Mm, glad to see you, girl. Hallelujah. How you doing? All right, so we're gonna move these out of the way real quick and we're gonna go ahead and get on with the get on. All right, so I'm gonna need thinking should I do it this way or cut them? I'm gonna use one of my knives, y'all, since I got it. Let me grab my cutting board, hold on. All right, I got my cutting board. We're gonna go ahead, y'all, let's go ahead and go. Y'all ready to cook? Come on, y'all, let's cook. Cooking with Pam, hey girl, how you doing? How you doing? Cooking with Pam, we're about to get into this kitchen, girl. This is a cook, we, we, we about to cook. Now, I got my knife right here, y'all, that they just sent from KitchenAid, all right? They, it's supposed to be sharpened, and this is how pretty much it came. They got it sealed back up or whatever. 
Now I wonder how shopping this baby is, cause she knows she was dull. Now she was so daggone dull that she couldn't even cut my daggone. Um, if y'all looked at my previous video where I try to cut the bag, cut my um, I got I got some bacon too, y'all, cause I'm gonna throw some bacon in the air fryer right quick because I do want to sprinkle me some bacon over my potatoes. So while I got this, I'm gonna show y'all. If you can look at this right here, you know what I'm saying. This thing wouldn't even cut my daggone bag. But now, let's see what it do if I just go on top of it. And let's just see. Ooh, we. Okay. 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 Okay, she sharp. She, boy, she is sharp. All right, let me move her out of the way. She sharp. My baby came to me. They did this. They did that. They did a job on that. Let me rinse this off real quick, y'all. It ain't gonna take me but a second. All right, so we got that rinsed off. We're going to go ahead and do these potatoes. I just got to be careful now because I know this baby is sharp. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Huh? Did y'all see it? Did y'all see it? Make sure she ain't got no metal shavings on here or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Okay, we good. We good. She clean. She clean. That's one thing you got to make sure, of, man. When if even if you sharpen your own knives, make sure that you give them a, a good little washing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want no metallic pieces, man, in your food or nothing like that. Just make sure it's clean. All right. So now let's go ahead and see what this this thing do with these here potatoes. Now what I'm gonna do with these potatoes? I'm gonna go ahead and just slice them um, the best way I can. I don't want to go super thin or whatever. And if I'm going to do these with with um, a knife so you know they're not going to be uniform now if you want uniform potatoes whenever you're slicing them let me just show you this real quick i'm going into my in my little storage space and i want to show you this okay this right here y'all is what we call a mandolin all right so on my mandolin i can stand mine up and i can remove this and this is the safety guide on my mandolin now right here are the blades okay these blades are extremely sharp and let me show you one more thing if i can reach it oh my god i'm reaching i'm reaching i'm reaching i'm reaching i'm reaching okay y'all i'm trying to hurry up i got a guide right here where i would take my potato stick it on the guide you know what i'm saying and then i would basically just come down on the mandolin all right and go from there but i'm not going to use the mandolin but if you like it like it to be uniform you could definitely use one of these and um just keep it moving that's just a good tip for you for you guys and girls out there and i'm gonna put that baby back and let's continue on y'all because we got to go people got things to do all right so now let's see how sharp she is let me see let me see oh god yes 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 i'm a boy i'm so happy let me stand up on this i'm happy y'all y'all can't tell it but i'm happy let me see how thin she go okay look at this oh 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 Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy, y'all. I'm happy. But anyway, let me continue to do this real quick. Now, if I'm going to be doing this, I need to have me something flat to lay on. If I'm going to be doing this, because this right here look like it might be dangerous. Because look, she like this. All right. So what I'm thinking I might do, let's just go this way. and keep my, my knuckles down. So I don't hit nothing. Hit nothing funny. You feel me? I don't want to hit nothing funny. I don't want to hit nothing funny. Now, when I get to this point, I'm just going to do it the safe way. All right? I'm just going to do it the safe way. Move that out the way, and then just go ahead and stand her on up. If I, if, yeah. You know what a safe way is? Just do this. Let me just do this. This is my safe way and take it as much as I can. And I'm gonna throw this in the trash. This is trash right here. All right, so we moving, we moving. Like we say, we don't have that many potatoes, but we're gonna do, make it do what it do with what we got, okay? All right, so we're going to the next potato and I'm gonna try to speed this process along, all right? I ain't gonna try to prolong it. Boy, this knife is sharp. 
Boy, that knife sharp. Ray, don't cut yourself. Boy, don't cut yourself, Jesus. All right, get my trash bag back up here. Don't cut yourself, Ray. Oh, this thing is serious. If y'all need some good sharpened knives, man, look, they, they done made me a believer. You know what I'm saying? They, they done made me a believer. I'm sending my knives to them to get them shopping, man. I mean, $10 a knife, you can't go bad with that. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, for real. For real, for real. Look at there. Look at there. Y'all just don't know, man. And it's so smooth. It, it go down there so smooth. I'm just going to split these fingers up. Make sure she don't hit that. You know what I mean? Being safe as possible. All right. So right now, y'all, I got about four more potatoes that I want to go ahead and get done up real quick. And then we can go ahead and go to the next step. All right. I'm making sure I get these fingers out of the way because these potatoes can rock on you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going I'm to keep it safe, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Now, while we doing this, let me know something, man. Where is every one of you guys from? What city? Rep your city. Rep your state. Put your state and city down. Where you from? Huh? That's a little too thick for my, my liking. I'm just going to look, look y'all, look. I'm just going to go like this and see. Ha, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. She working with me, she working with me. All right, so, and I love a good sharpened knife. Oh my God. All right, so now we can go ahead and we can do this, we can do this. Oh man, yes sir, they did, they did it. Now man, man, I'm gonna tell you something. These people, they sharpen these knives. They did it, they did the dang thing. Let me see, where y'all from? Chicago, you got, who, who else in the house? Little town in Florida. All right, who else we got? Michigan in the house, Kansas, Missouri in the house, Austin, St. Louis, North of Virginia. Come on, where my North Carolina people at? Where y'all at? Represent my North Carolinians. Where y'all at? Come on here. Man, we got people from all over in the United States. Come on, y'all. Now, them, that's the last of the potato. Now, since we got that out of the way, I'm going to move my cutting board, okay? I'm going to move my cutting board because we're going to go to the next step. Our oven is set, preheated at seven. I'm sorry, I'm going to say 700 degrees. Lord, the devil is alive. Our oven is preheated at 400 degrees, okay, y'all? All right, so I got my sheet pan right here. All right, sheet pan is cleaned up. She ready to roll. Y'all still with me? Y'all still with me? Come on, this is the first series of live cooking with Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. Since this is the first series, we're going to try to keep this thing going. Thank you so much for giving. Giving, it shall be given unto you. Good measures pressed now, shaking together, running through with the same measure you meet, shall be measured unto you again. I hope and I pray that God will meet your every need. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and more thank yous. All right, so here we go. Who else we got up in here? We got Alabama in the house. So what I'm gonna do with the olive oil, y'all, listen to what I'm gonna tell you. Let me pop the seal on this here olive oil. Now, don't come at me. Some people might say, hey man, that ain't real olive oil, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? But use your preference. Whatever your preference is, man, use it. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I got. Food line olive oil, extra light. Uh-huh. That's what I got. I know some people gonna come at me. That ain't real olive oil and blah 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 blah. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of this olive oil, right? I'm just gonna put it on the pan. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? All right, so I'm gonna take my glove. Y'all gonna have to forgive me, man. Let me see. Should I take my glove? No, I'm gonna take another piece of napkin. I can do it with a napkin. I can do it with a napkin. And I just want to run this at the bottom. That's all I want to do, right? There you go. So it don't matter how much oil is on that. Trust me, it's, it's all going to come together, all right? Now, we got that on there. Now, this is what we want to do, y'all. All right, so I'm going to hit it off with some, some salt, okay? And I'm just going to use just about a little bit. Y'all see what I'm doing? This is kosher. So that's it right there on the bottom. That's kosher. And I'm going to move that to the side. All right. The next thing I want to hit this off with. Oh, I ain't got no black pepper in here, y'all. What? Okay. Since I ain't got no black pepper, let's fill this baby up. 
Let's fill it on up. Move that pan out the way. Let's fill this baby up. All right, let's fill it on up. Y'all like these shakers? And look, is this microphone muffling? Is it muffling because it's hitting my chin? If it is, let me know. Then I'll try to find something else different to do because I want you guys to hear what I'm saying. Is it muffling? Can y'all hear me still? Let me know. All right. So I'm take, I got some black pepper. And I got this from BitLots. I don't know how many of y'all familiar with BitLots. You know what I'm saying? I love getting stuff from BitLots. It only costs a dollar. And I just fill my containers up. You know what I'm saying? I fill my containers up. Anytime they low, you know, you got to have something on standby just so you can fill them up. And then I put my shaker right on back in there. And we're ready to go. Now, if you guys would like to have, you know, some of these containers. I love these containers, man. This is the name of them, okay? This is the name of the containers. I'm not promoting this because I bought this with my own money. There's a company um, here in North Carolina that I go to, and it's called a container store. Now, I do know that they got um, an online store. It's called thecontainerstore.com, and they sell a lot of containers. And I know you guys probably have container stores in y'all neck of the woods. You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. But one thing that I want to try to do, and I'm thinking, man, that this might benefit a lot of people. Well, I ain't going to say a lot of people. It might benefit a few people. You know what I'm saying? I want to do a giveaway. I want to see if I could just give a couple of these away. You know what I'm saying? And um, I want you guys to stay tuned because in a previous uh, when upcoming video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you have to do in order to um, see if you could basically win one of these things. I did say win. You know what I'm saying? And a couple of lucky people, man, are going to get these. You know what I'm saying? And then hopefully what I could do, if all goes well, I could just – do this on, you know, at least um, one time out of every two months. You know what I'm saying? There you go, Raleigh, North Carolina. Somebody from North Carolina, Raleigh. There you go. That's where I got it from, too. Right there, S. Hawkins. You right. That's where I got them from, right there in Raleigh. I took that trip right down the street. So, got my sheet pan back. All right, so I replenished my pepper. So I'm just going to sprinkle some pepper down here. I don't know how many potatoes is going to go on here, so I'm just making sure that I have enough on there for my bottom potatoes. You know what I'm saying? So we got that out of the way. And then the next thing I'm going to put down on here, y'all, I'm not going to put too many seasonings. You feel me? I'm not going to do that. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some, oh, you did, You got to see what I'm putting on here, some garlic powder, all right? But I'm going to switch the game up. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my potatoes, and I'm just going to go ahead and just lay them right on, on the sheet pan. I'm just going to lay them right on, on there, okay? So now you can see, for one, I'm not going to add no more salt to this, all right? Because that kosher salt is just basically going to um, seat one side, and then I'm going to season the other side with um, different seasonings. And that way, I don't do an overkill when it comes down to the um, sodium and stuff like that. So I'm basically controlling um, the amount of seasonings that I'm going, you know, that I'm adding to this. Now, don't ask me, man, how much was that that you added? Because y'all should know by now, man. I tell you real quick, do what your ancestors say do. You know what I'm saying? If your ancestors say that ain't enough, then add a little bit more. If your ancestors say that is enough, then hey, shut it down. That's enough. That's a wrap. You feel me? All right. So I got these going on, and look like those potatoes was just enough to add on this here pan. I'm telling you man so i'm gonna use all of these potatoes because this is a good recipe i might lap a little here and lap a little there or whatever but we're gonna squeeze these babies right on up in there you feel me huh we ain't got time to be wasting nothing we're gonna get them we're gonna get them if i got to do something different we're gonna get them so with the thinner pieces, I can put them right on top. And I can get these good size pieces, you know what I'm saying, right there on that pan. Thinner pieces can go on top. You know what I mean? I can lap something. 
I can get like, like a lap something, but if I do lap something, let me put a little seasoning on the ones that's lapping because I want everything to have flavor to it, y'all. Just be, be patient with me. Let me just put a little salt on these pieces. Just a little salt and just a little pepper. That's it. Do a little rubber dub dub. Give these potatoes love. Put them on the knee, on there now. Okay. So at least they season just like the rest of them. Here we go. Here we go. Get them on in there. And we don't want to overlap too much because we still got to do a little something, something. All right. So we got that out of the way. Let's move this pan. All right. So now. What we're going to add to this, we got our salt and pepper down. We're going to add some onion powder. Onion powder. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Come on. We're going to sprinkle these babies. Just enough to cover them up. And that'll be it right there. My ancestor said, hey, buddy, that's enough, son. I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now we're going to hit it with some garlic powder. Okay. We got some garlic powder. Hit it. Hit it. Everybody in the party is going to be happy. So there we go. We got the garlic powder. Now, if you want to, you can add you a little Cajun to it. But you got to remember now, if you want, you got to add, you can add some Cajun to it. But you've got to remember that this Cajun got a little sodium in it. So I want you to be extra careful whenever you do put your Cajun seasoning. You know what I mean? Because you already got that kosher down there at the bottom. So that's enough of that Cajun. We ain't going to add no more to that to it. So another thing that I do want to add, y'all, because I do know that it's going to give it a little bit flavor. And y'all don't come and judge me. I love that Norris. Some people got they, um, they, they say some things about this Nora. But hey, man, if you don't like Nora for whatever reason, then that's, that's fine with me. You know what I'm saying? That's chicken seasoning. That's Nora's chicken seasoning. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted just to put just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all. Just a little bit. It's just going to give it a little bit more flavor. You feel me? It's going to give it a little bit more flavor. Shorty Red in the building. Shorty. What up, Shorty Red? I'm doing it, do. You inspired me. You inspired me. No lie. You inspired me. So we got the potatoes right here, and I didn't season them up. Now, the last thing, no, I ain't going to say the last, but what I want to do now is just hit it with this here garlic rosemary seasoning from Tones. Okay? Now, you can put whatever you want on yours, but it's just something about the combination of this rosemary and garlic from Tones. And I mean, even when you sprinkle this stuff, man, it smells heavenly. Trust me, it smells heavenly. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Parmesan. Now, you can use the Parmesan in the bag. You can use the Parmesan in, in the container such as I'm using, or you could take the block of Parmesan and you can shred it up on your own or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's your... It's your recipe, but I'm going to use what's, what's best for me at this particular point in time, and that's the store-bought brand. And I just want to take the Parmesan cheese, you know what I'm saying, and just sprinkle that all over these potatoes. I don't want to be stingy when it comes down to sprinkling these potatoes with this Parmesan cheese. No, I don't want to be stingy. Somebody say, man, you stingy. Really? Am I really stingy? So you say I am, huh? But we're going to do this thing, y'all. All right, so don't be stingy with your palm. Come on, y'all. It's Parmesan. Parmesan, sheet pan, baked. Sheet pan, Parmesan, baked potato. Now, this is a great side dish. I'm telling you it is, all right? Last but not least, last but not least, y'all seen me use this numerous of times in my videos, 
I love it. And some of the reasons why I love it is because for one, this gives this gives it just a little heat, not overpowering, not not too much that is going to, you know, burn your palate up and all that. No, it won't do that. Now, if you dump a lot on that, yeah, it'll burn your palate up. But this gives it just a little heat. And then on top of that, you know what I'm saying? It gives it a nice little color as well. So this right here is, um, this is some chili peppers. You know what I'm saying? Spice blends with chili peppers and some parsley and garlic blend mixed in it as well. Now, those of y'all who don't, who don't know, I get this from Ross, $3.99. Ross is the boss. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm moving right along, y'all. I want to take some of this. And I'm putting it in my hand because I want to gauge how much I put on. I want to just sprinkle. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. And I just want to sprinkle it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gauging how much I put on this thing. And this is going to give it, like I said, a nice little color. And it'll all go well. All right. So that's going to be enough of that. Put a little bit right here. She looked naked. There we go. All right. And I'm going to put the rest of this back in. I can do that because it's mine. Okay. Now, y'all got to forgive me too. I got allergies. How many of y'all battling this allergy season? Huh? How many of y'all are really battling allergies at this particular point in time? All right. So now we got this. This is basically done. Now, if you are like me and you're not satisfied with the presentation of how she looked, then take you some parsley. You can use fresh parsley or you can just use some dry parsley such as I got here and I got to put some more in here and I do have me another container that I want to replenish and just sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. Now, this will be good for Easter dinner, y'all. I'm telling you. This will be good for Easter dinner right here, right here. Easter dinner, do this right here. Play the video back and do this. So I'm going to the oven. Oven is preheat, preheated at 400 degrees, okay? So let me give y'all a look, see? Y'all can see. I'm going to get these out the way. Give y'all a look, see, before I put it in the oven. All right? Now y'all can see this is how it's looking. All right, look good already, don't it? Come on, somebody, look good. All right, so, oh, one more thing I forgot. If you wanted to, you could dredge, you could spread some of this um, olive oil on top, you know what I'm saying, of your potatoes before you can season, before you season them and then rub them in. That's if you wanted to. I'm not going to do it, you know what I'm saying, because once the cheese melts into it, and stuff like that, man, it's going to be good. And then the potatoes is definitely going to have moisture that's going to come up out of it as you bake anyway. But I'm just going to bake these until the cheese pretty much make, uh, melts and the potato is tender. So there we go. I'm going to the oven, sliding it in. Bingo. That's a done deal. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do me some food prepping right now for tomorrow because I'm gonna do a some chicken wings, I'm sorry, turkey wings <coughs> and some rice. And I wanna do it on top of the stove, but I wanna do it in a way, man, to where the flavors, I can get flavors and I mean, make it all taste good. But before I do that, let me put some bacon in the air fryer real quick. Don't y'all go nowhere. Y'all ain't going nowhere yet, yeah, is you? Don't go nowhere. Hit that like button. All right. All right, so I just want to throw some strips in here in my air fryer real quick. Don't y'all go nowhere now. And I love this air fryer, y'all. Look, fry your bacon in the air fryer if you want to, y'all. Some of us, we like, we, we tired of, of grease splattering on top of the stove and all this other kind of stuff. And we tired of cleaning out pans in the oven and all this other kind of stuff. These air fryers is easy to clean. And then on top of that, 
they have your food ready <laughs> in a matter of minutes. Boy, I tell you the honest God truth. When you don't want to spend all that time and energy in the kitchen, then that's when this right here becomes your best friend. So I'm going to put this in the air fryer for on um, 400 degrees, the highest setting, and I'm going to Put it on there for at least around about five minutes. If I have to go more, then I tweak it up a little bit more. If I if if it's about done before five minutes, then I shut it down. You you be the judge of that. Okay. So I got that going. Now what I want to do, let's go ahead and I told y'all that I don't have no timer set for that. Um, I don't have a timer set for my oven, but I'm just going to gauge it on how it's going to look and the tenderness of my potatoes, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. So now what I want to do is I just want to prep up some of my stuff right now for my turkey um, wings. And I only got a few turkey wings. So I got some celery, carrots, and then I can also find out how sharp and how sharp these other knives are while I'm doing this. Okay. And an onion, onion. I got an onion. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. Which one I want to prep up first. Let me get my cutting board. All right. These are my little, these are my little herbs that I'm gonna use. Oh, I gotta get over here. These are my herbs that I'm gonna use for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is pretty much the poultry blend. And in this blend, it has like rosemary, sage, and thyme. Good stuff, y'all, I'm telling you. And then um, I got some oregano, okay? So that's gonna go into my, my dish. And if y'all, yeah, it's nothing wrong with switching from fresh herbs. Sometimes, man, when you don't want to use the dry herbs, dry herbs still is good. But just let your palates, man, take um, go somewhere different. You know what I mean? So now, since I already know how good this baby sharpens, let me get over here. I already know how good this baby sharpens. It sharpens pretty dang good. I mean, cuts pretty good. It's already sharp. All right, what I want to do now is should I use another knife to try and see? Bam, bam, boom. Let me go ahead and just do this real quick. So, I got to get me this container right here just so I can put my veggies in and I can put a top on it. So with this bell pepper, I'm not going to use the whole bell pepper. Okay? And matter of fact, before I do this, before I get real bougie, let me tell y'all something that you got to do before you start cutting and prepping your veggies. Whatever you're going to whatever you're going to use, gather them all up together. And like I probably just use about um, should I use two stocks? No, I'm gonna use one stock. One stock of that. One stock of that. And then I'm gonna move that out of the way. And then I got some carrots. And these some big healthy carrots, man. It's like they've been shooting these carrots up with steroids. So I'm gonna go for not the biggest carrot. I'm gonna go for that one will work, okay? Let me move that out of the way. And you want to wash your veggies, y'all. You got to. Because if you if you pretty much you start cutting on this celery, you see the dirt right there? If you start cutting on this and you add it to your food, man, it's, it's, it's going to be gritty. And then on top of that, you might have a bug or something in it, you know what I'm saying? And you can never see what's in the crevices of these um, veggies or whatever. So it's good that you go ahead and wash them first before you start cutting and stuff like that. And then what some people do with their carrots, they'll go ahead and shave out the outer skins of the carrots and all this other kind of stuff. I'm not going to shave out the outer skins of this. I'm going to leave it just like this. But I am going to go ahead and I'm going to clean them down. Alright? So let me go ahead and clean these down and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. You better not go nowhere. You better not leave me while I'm cooking potatoes. Just stay right here. 
We're gonna have some fun, yes we are. Don't go nowhere, don't leave me. Just stay right here with me. Yes, sir. Stay right here with me, y'all. Don't go nowhere. Just stay right here with me. All right. So I'm gonna take this a little, little um, a further step further. So with the Trinity. How many of you guys know what the Trinity is? Tell me what the Trinity is. Go ahead and tell me down there in the comment section. What's the Trinity? What's the Trinity? Y'all help me out. What's the Trinity? What's the Trinity? Somebody help me. Who knows what the Trinity is? We got some cooks in the house. Come on, y'all. We got some cooks in the house. Y'all tell me what the Trinity is. If you from Louisiana, from the Bayou State, come on, y'all know already. Carrots, celery, and onion. You better speak life. You better speak it. You better speak it. That's what the Trinity is. So I'm going to cut the Trinity. And then I'm going to bring their cousin into the party as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring their cousin right on in. Oh, this knife is sharp. Man, this knife is sharp. Can't beat that with a stick. All right. So this knife is sharp, man. I ain't going to lie. Here we go. What I want to do, I just want to give these a chop. I got to stand up. These knives are sharp, man. You don't cut no, no vegetables like this. I'm not a professional. I'm a home cook. But I ain't going to be no fool either. I ain't going to cut my shit. Mama ain't raised no food. Mama ain't raised no food. Mama ain't raised no food. No, no. Mama ain't raised no food. Mm. Mama ain't raised no food. Keep your fingers back, Jack. My man ain't no fool. All right. I just love how they shopping my knife, man. This knife was dull as a mug, y'all. It was super dog dull. I mean, I couldn't even cut the plastic on that daggone bacon. And if y'all was here earlier to see me just cut that daggone, that plastic on that bacon, it went through that bacon like it was butter. They did a they did a good job on these nine. I'm finna see what the other ones gonna be like. What it's gonna be like. Mama ain't rain no food. Mama ain't rain no food. Mama ain't rain no food. Keep your hand back, Jack. Mama ain't rain. That's how about as good as I want it right now. Right there as good as I want it. All right. So since that's done. I'm going to take these and just dump them in that bowl, having all that prepped up, take my carrot, and with these carrots, I'm not going to be too concerned about chopping them, right? Only thing I want to do with my carrots, I can either hit it just like this, and we good. Or some people, man, they cut it on the bias. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to waste not, I'm wasting none of that. So that's going to still go into the pot. You feel me? What I'm going to do is I'm still going to take them. Because you can't go wrong. It's only like, what, three wings or something, man? But it's going to be so good. So good. But I ain't no fool. I ain't going that, that I ain't going that far. Dude, this knife is sharp. So there we go. You know what I mean? Cut them in little quarters. And we good with that. Drop them into the boat. Bacon smelling good over here, y'all. <clears throat> Yeah, we getting there. We getting there with that bacon. So with this, I want to keep all this. I want to cut all that. I want it all. I want it all. Leaves and all. 
I want it all. I ain't letting nothing get in by. I ain't nothing getting up out of here. Make sure I don't hit that blade like a, like a dummy. Yeah, big dummy. There we go. So I just want to take, take it on the long end, right? See, I want to take it on the long end and just basically split it right on down. I'm trying to be careful, y'all, because this knife ain't no joke. I swear it's, it's no joke. All right. Then take the rest of these. Just go ahead and do your thing. So I just basically just cut it into fourths. Got four nice long strips out of it. And just going down, not trying to cut my fingers off. The professionals, they go with the knuckle thing. You know what I'm saying? Doom, 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 doom. No, I ain't about that life right now, y'all. Hey, long as that blade over there way over yonder, long as that blade way over yonder, we good. I ain't got to be all trying to act like I know what I'm doing. Uh-uh, uh-uh. My safety is first, y'all. That means keeping my fingers. I like to keep my fingers. I like to keep my fingers. So the next thing, next thing we're going to cook, cut up, is an onion, all right? So with the onion, I'm going to go ahead, man, and give this onion a nice dice as well. I should have left the root on there, but I moved too quick. Should have left that root. But since the root is gone, since the root is gone, I'm going to have to go ahead and just do it the way I know best. The root is gone. <laughs> the root is gone away. I said the root is gone. Mm -hmm. I say the root is gone away. Divine. Hey, divine. Divine inspiration. I say the root is gone. I say the root is gone. Root is gone away. So I'm just going to leave it on a long strand. It don't matter how you do it, y'all, because it's going to get ate up. You can chop it, you can dice it, you can slice it, no matter how you do it. It's going to get ate up. The root is gone. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I say the root is gone away. That bacon, that bacon went ding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I say the root is gone. I, the root is gone. That's how I want it. The root is gone away. So I'm going to set that right over there. And y'all know you can keep that bacon grease too, right? You can keep that bacon grease. So now I'm going to move that out of the way. I just want to show y'all right now, man. This is what I got. Some, I got the, the Trinity in here. I got some onions, bell peppers, celery, um, carrots. One trying to escape. Onion, bell pepper, celery, and a carrot. And this is what's going to go into my turkey wings on tomorrow. I'm going to put a lid right on top of this and put that in the fridge. All right. Now, let me check on these potatoes. Oh, yeah. She's coming right along. She's coming right along. So I can still do a little bit more. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get my meat cutting board out. This is my meat cutting board right here. My veggie cutting board is what you just seen me cut on. This is my meat cutting board. If you guys do not have a meat cutting board, please get you one. Get you one. Let that let that board be designated only for just cutting meats. Okay? So I got my turkey wings. Okay? I only got two of these suckers. You mean to tell me I got all them veggies just for two turkey wings? Yep. Because I'm gonna be the only one eating these turkey wings. No lie. 
No lie. All right, so this is what I want to do. Let me sit my tail down for a little bit. All right, so y'all still with me because them potatoes will come up in a little bit. All right, so y'all still with me? Y'all still with me, right? Okay. All right, so this is the um, my fillet knife, right? And I had them to sharpen this sucker. This is my old faithful right here. This is, ooh, man. Good God. They cleaned this bug up, too. Look at this. They didn't clean my knife up, too, y'all. This is when you look at the edge on that thing. Y'all can't see it. But look at the edge on it. Man, look at the edge. I just want to see. I just want to see. <laughs> I'm tickled. I'm tickled. Let me clean this up. I'm tickled. I'm tickled. Tickle pink. All right. I'm going to use this knife real quick, y'all. And we almost about, we almost about getting there with them potatoes. Yes, we is. All right. And I got the sharp end up. I got the sharp end facing up. Okay. That's where she need to be. All right. Sharp end is facing up. And let me see something real quick. Let me get this out the way. This is trash. I'm on all trash out of my way at this particular point in time. All right. So let's go look at the potatoes real quick one more time. I steamed up my glasses. They looking good. Now I'm going to set this timer for about five minutes. I just want to give them five minutes, and when the timer goes off, they coming out, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do this thing with this turkey real quick. Bend your head down. Look down, y'all. Look down. Come on, closer. Look now. Look now. Okay, y'all still with me, right? Y'all still with me? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I got to do this thing right. There we go. So y'all still with me? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Now, this, let's do this right quick. This is the, this is the little flat, flat part of the bird. You got to find this right up in here. There's that gristle right up in there. You got to find it right up in there. Look at that knife. Look at that knife. Look at that knife. Look at that knife. She ain't playing. Hold on. She ain't playing. Lord have mercy, she ain't playing. So here we go. We're going to come right here is what I want to do. I want to hit her right there. So I'm going to come straight down here and go for the gusto, y'all. Let me see. Look at that. Look at that. Man, this knife ain't nothing but the ever-loving truth. Expose that gristle. Expose that gristle. Expose that gristle. Where you at? There's the bone right there. If you can see it. See that bone? I want to go right in between that bone. Right in between. Where that gristle? There you go. Mama said, you sharp thing you. God told my that knife ain't nothing but the daggone truth. Okay. That knife ain't nothing but the truth. That right there, trash. All right, so we got that one. We got that one. We're going to work on this one. We're going to take that and put it in that pan. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Pop them. All right, expose that thing. Expose it. Expose it. Expose it. Now, y'all watch this. Watch this. I don't know if y'all can see it, but watch this. Watch this. I just want to do this right quick. Look at that. That's the skin. Watch this. That's the skin. This knife is sharp. This knife is sharp, man. Oh, oh she's sharp. Got to find that bone. There's the bone. Where's that gristle? Pop it. Okay. Just pop it. And we're just going to go ahead and get her. 
Look at that. God, I told my. I'm so happy. So happy. All right. Let me move this. Let me change these gloves real quick. All right. I took the one glove off. I can raise y'all up. That's what I want to do. I can raise y'all up. Zoom you back. Now, what I'm going to do with this, right? I want to go ahead and just hit this with just a little bit olive oil, just a little bit. And let me take the other glove off because I got to go to work. I want to hit it with some salt. Okay. This is what we call the dry brine because what I'm going to do that is about to go off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to season these up. And I got some salt, black pepper, and I want to use some chicken flavoring on that. Okay. And then I also want to toss in some paprika on this. Okay. And one more thing I want to toss on this, y'all, is some of this here kicking chicken. This is from Ross, kicking kick chicken. All right. I love this stuff, y'all. I want to put a little bit of that on it. Okay. Now, this is just a dry brine. You can dry brine your meat up with whatever you want. So grab me a another glove real quick now that stove went off here we go let me go ahead and grab this pan out of here she read it oh she fouled up my glasses yes she did she ready so i'm gonna go ahead and do this for you right quick cut this stove off and we just want to go ahead and incorporate this. Now these wings has been washed. Now this is what I call a dry brine because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put these in the fridge uncovered. They're gonna be in there overnight. Because what I want to do tomorrow is I want to brown these up. Now I could do a couple of things to this to brown these up. I could either put them in the air fryer, let them get brown, or I could toss some flour on these and put them into the pot and then brown them up that way. And, or I could just put them in the oven and let them brown and go from there because I am gonna make a gravy for these, all right? So as you can see, this is how what our wings are looking like. So we're done with that, and I just want to go ahead and toss that in the fridge. So taking my gloves, throwing the gloves in the trash can. This is definitely going in the sink. This is a sharp knife. Be careful with your sharp knives. I'm setting this knife to the side. It's going to be definitely cleaned up real good, but this is going to be cleaned up real good and stored. All right, so... Next step, we're right here. We're right here. Get y'all back over there. Y'all with me now. We got us some bacon. We got us some bacon. I know how some of you people out there, y'all the food police. Some of y'all the food critics. I go over here and I start cutting this bacon up with my hands. Y'all be like, ooh, look at his fingernails. They all nasty. See, see, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all, some of y'all the food police, man. I can't deal with you food police over there. I can't do it. But anyway, I'm going to take some of this bacon and I just want to chop it right on up. Look at that knife. You don't have to chop this up fine. You don't have to do none of that. You can just do it like I'm doing it in strips. Now, this might be enough for right now. I might take this and put that in the egg sandwich tomorrow morning. I don't know. I'm, mm, smell good. So I'm going to move this to the side. If I need more, I just crunch up a little bit more. All right. I've been to grab that pan right there hot off the daggone block. Y'all about to see me burn my hands up grabbing that daggone pan. All right. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
Go ahead, say it, Mom. You made some stuffing with it. I would have made some stuffing with it. You would want some stuffing with it. These are our potatoes, y'all. Potatoes, they ready. Take you some bacon. Sprinkle it with some bacon. And it smells good. Like we say, you gauge it on the eye. You gauge it on the eye because they're tender. They slice thin. The cheese is melted. I want to add just a little bit more bacon to this. A little bit more bacon. Huh? You need, yeah, you can tell, you know you're going to taste it. What are you talking about? I need you to taste it. Now we got the bacon on there. I just need to take me a quick little picture, real quick with my camera phone. And we don't need no more parsley on here. Nope, we don't. All right. Just for a little bit. Just sprinkle a little bit. That's all. Just let a little bit fall from the air. Just fall from the air. That's it. She fell from the air. Take a picture with my phone because I got to have a thumbnail for this here. Um, live. This is the first live, y'all. And I'm hoping, man, that we could do more of these. You know what I'm saying? Take a quick snap and see how I like that picture. That was all right, but let me do it without the flash. Let me do it without the flash. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me, bear with me. Flash is now off. See how this one look. I gotta get a couple of angles and we go from there. Bam, up top. <clears throat> Y'all got to forgive me, man. Allergies really got me here. Um, I'm going to take them pills in a little bit, but And here. And one more. Got to go the long way just in case you might want to do a, a short. And bam. Hit it like this in that angle. Bam. And that's going to be it. Now, I got to get... Got to taste it, y'all. Got to taste it. Let me grab a um, styrofoam plate. I don't know how many of y'all like me. I don't like washing a lot of dishes. I can't I can't stand washing a lot of dishes. So these styrofoam plates are my best friends. If you guys like styrofoam plates and you, you buy me your house because y'all don't know how many y'all like me. I got nine grandkids and about ready to have two more. So that's going to be a total of 11. And I got people that always come and they eat. I'm like this. I don't know how many of y'all like cleaning dishes or washing dishes, but we don't do that around here. Yeah, we got yeah, we got four. I just grabbed, <laughs> I just grabbed one. So now it's like you pick and choose. Where do I go? Should I start here? Should I start there? Should I start there? It don't matter. It's all gonna get ate up. So you will go grab plate. Go grab and plate, plate, and boom. Get you some bacon on there, man. Give me some bacon. Put that bacon on there. Put me that bacon on there. Yes, Lord. Don't let that bacon go nowhere. And there you go. You know what I'm saying? These are baked, um, I got to get it together. Sheet pan, sheet pan Parmesan baked potatoes. And it's good, y'all. I mean, it smells wonderful up in here. Let me grab my bear. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. See? And it's all tender. Mm-hmm. It, it's seasoned to the perfection. Mm-hmm. Let me let her taste it. Mm. Thank you. Mm-mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Y'all look, look, all day, every day, delicious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, don't do that, don't do that. Mm-mm, oh, Lord, mm. Mm. Okay, y'all, look, let me see now. I'm mm here -hmm. now. Oh, I zoomed out. Hold on. 
I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna slide up. Hold on. I'm gonna tell y'all something. No joke. All jokes stop. Matter of fact, let me see if I can do this right quick. Y'all got to see that. Look. Y'all can't see it like I had it. You got to see this for yourself. I don't know if you can see it. But I mean, bacon in the air fryer. See how we did the potatoes. Seven of those red potatoes. And I mean, we seasoned them up. And I mean, once we seasoned them up, throw that Parmesan cheese on there, man, and slap them in the oven. Y'all listen here. Y'all listen here. Game over. That's all I'm going to say. Game over. Look at that corner over here. Look at this corner. Look at this corner. See, that's the corner that's calling my name. All right? But let me get back over here, y'all, and I'm going to say this to y'all real quick. Then I'm going to do what I got to do. All right. I just want to say thank y'all so much for checking out this here um, live cook. And I'm hoping, man, that we could come together, man, and do this again. Now, if y'all want to see me cook these turkey wings tomorrow, I could definitely cook these turkey wings tomorrow live. That way you get a feel and a vibe on how to do these turkey wings. And I've already did um, a semi prep. Now, if you want to, just let me know. Let me know in the comment section of this here live video. But let me know in the comment section when the video is off because don't let me know now. Don't let me know now if y'all want to do that and see that live. Let me know when this video is, is up and going. Then you comment in the comment section and say, hey, we want to see that live video tomorrow with those turkey wings. And then I'll come home from work tomorrow, clean myself up, and we cooking in the kitchen tomorrow. All right? Just let me know. And I'm telling you right now, I'm finna go ham on the potato. <laughs> Boy. Who? Who? Liv wants some potato. Yeah. Where she at? Tell her to come get them. Tell her to come get them. Cause I'm they better hurry up before I eat them all. <laughs> and the turkey wing. Turkey wing gonna be tomorrow. All right, y'all. All right, we, I'm talking my food. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. All right. Mm, this one is good. This is what I want to say. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. If you can help anybody, please go out and help somebody. Get in that kitchen and cook. We're going to do a lot of these right here, man. And I want to give a huge shout out to Shorty Red because Shorty Red has basically inspired me. And Shorty Red, if you're watching this here video, thank you. And you just don't know how much your inspiration meant to me. So thank you so much. All right. So let's go ahead, man, and, and get in the kitchen, y'all. Let's cook something. And let's enjoy everything that we cook because I'm telling you right now, this right here is smashing. I'm telling you, I'd rather do this showing y'all how I do it versus me doing a video. You know what I'm saying? Because you actually get to see how much time it takes to prepare, put it in the oven, pull out the oven, and voila. Everybody who put their mouth on this would be like, hey, make that again for me. All right? So thank you guys so much for watching out, watching this here live video. This is number one. And hopefully, if you want to see um, number two tomorrow, which will be the chicken wings, and these babies are going in the fridge, and they'll be brining. And I also have my veggies cut up um, tomorrow, ready to go. So you best believe, man, we're not going to be 
um, playing around tomorrow. We're just going to get in and we're going to go and, and fix some food and we're going to eat and we go. So thank you so much for watching this here video. When this video is off, please comment below. Let me know if you want to see that live video tomorrow with the chicken wings. And I'm going to do them on the stove, okay? And if, I'm, if, and if I got the Trinity plus their cousin along and, and on board, then you know it's going to be good. You feel it? Come on, somebody. All right, now. Thank y'all, man. Love y'all to life. That's what G, G. Rich be saying all the time. Love y'all to life. Big shout out to my big brother, G. Rich, man. Him and Risa. What's up with y'all? Love them babies, man. Look, if y'all don't know who G. Rich is and who Risa Richardson is, man, something ain't right. Please go over, man, and show them some love, man. G. Rich and Risa Richardson, man. I love my peoples. They're my peoples. And one more thing. One more thing. Who else can I um, give a shout out to? Lily Life. Look, y'all give a go over there and check out my daughter Lily. Lily Life. You know what I'm saying? That girl be cooking too. She need to stop playing and get on here and make some more food videos. Girl, we hungry, girl. We hungry. And another shout out I want to give out, man, to Slaying It with Ray. That's my daughter. Slay by Ray. Yeah. Is it Slay by Ray or Slaying It with Ray? Slay by Ray. Slay by Ray, then, y'all. Slayed. S-L-A-Y-E-D by Ray. Please check her out. Subscribe to their channels if, if you haven't subscribed yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to look after my own. You better believe that. Love y'all, man. Y'all have a good one and be blessed. Try this recipe. Try this recipe. And if you just want to know, let me just tell it to you. It's oh so good. Mm. <laughs> Boy, you better stop playing. You better stop playing. Slaying it with Ray. That is Slaying it with Ray. That's the name of Slaying it with Ray. Good God Almighty, Jesus. You all right with me? I'm out of here, y'all. All right, y'all. Good God, that was good. That was good. Oh, that's so good.